t minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket for United Launch Alliance carrying Sibir's G06 for the United States Space Force. Hearing the voice of Jesse Gonzalez providing launch vehicle ascent data. Coming up on 90 seconds into flight. And we have burnout on both SRBs. And the RD-180 is now throttling back up as expected. Vehicle is now 20 miles in altitude, traveling at uh, 3,000 miles per hour. And we have indication of jettison of both SRVs. Vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. And the RCS system is now pressurizing to flight levels. And the reaction control system pressures have reached operational levels. The vehicle is now 45 miles in altitude, uh, about 100 miles downrange, traveling at 6,500 miles per hour. The RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good. And the Centaur has begun the boost phase chill-down sequence to thermally condition the RL-10 for operation. And the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a 4.6G acceleration limit until BECO. And we have BECO, booster engine cutoff. And we have stage separation. Seeing a good pre-start on the RL-10, standing by from S1. And we have MES-1. And we have good indication of uh, payload fairing jettison. The 
this first burn will this be is about Atlas eight and a half mission minutes. control at T plus five minutes. We just heard flight compensator and engine cutoff. And the RCS system has started 100% settling. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus 13 minutes and 15 seconds. Jesse Gonzalez just reported successful completion of the first of three Centaur engine burns. Sibir's Geo 6 is scheduled to separate from ULA's Centaur upper stage into a geosynchronous transfer orbit in about 2 hours and 45 minutes. At this point, 